Tech Legion and we'll be taking a look at the Gigabyte Z77X UD3H motherboard. This is built with an 1155 socket, LGA 1155. It is the new chipset, is the Series 7 of the Intel motherboard, Intel chipsets. It supports not only second but third generation Intel Core processors. That means the upcoming Ivy Bridge launch. As you can see, the box is white. It says ultra durable. Of course, if you're familiar with Gigabyte, ultra durable is their is the way that they compose their PCB and their their capacitors, etc. It does have a 3D power digital engine, VRM is digital. It also has 3D BIOS. This is a dual UEFI BIOS. It has an overlay, it has an e easy mode or a 3D mode, and it also has an advanced mode. This does come with Virtue MVP. It is PCI, PCIe Generation 3. It does support SLI and Crossfire. And if we take a look at the back of the box, of course the back of the box shows some features that the motherboard has, of course 3D BIOS, your, your temperature schemes, etc. On, on, on the board, on where the temperature is going to be, where it's not going to be. And of course with that ultra durable, um, if you know about ultra durable, that's what it explains. Of course you have the Intel Smart Response. And of course, it has the 333, which is your SATA, your USB 3.0. We open the box. On the top are all the accessories, so we'll take those out and put them on the side for now. And we'll actually go ahead and look at the motherboard. Now, the Z77 chipset is an upgrade from, from the Z68. It does have a lot of common qualities and likenesses with the Z68, but it's actually a better chipset. They made some refinements to it. And of course it supports the new and upcoming third generation core processors. If we look at the board, you might be used to seeing a Gigabyte board in blue, but they have gone, did a, did a little bit of a color change here. We have a black board, black PCB. We have four DIMM ports. This will support 2400 on an OC, up to 32 gigs of RAM, 1155 socket. This down here is actually for mSATA. So if you have an, M, an mSATA drive, you can put it in there and utilize it for the SSD caching, the smart response technology. As you can see, it has two heat sinks on it, one over the PCH, one on, one on the side by the uh, by the VRM. If we look at the top of the board, it's it's fairly wide open. You have your 8-pin power connector here, you have your CPU fan header. This is a CMOS switch, reset CMOS. This is just a regular reset switch and of course you have a start button here. So if you don't want to hook up your front panel and you're testing it on a bench or you're doing something that you need to get to the motherboard with, you don't need to have it hooked up to your case. 24 pin power connector. Right here on the side of the board you'll notice that we have a power connector. This is actually if you're running SLI. What they're suggesting that you do to give the board a little bit of extra power is to go ahead and plug in a, a, uh, a SATA power from your, from your power supply to here so you can generate decent frame rates with SLI and you won't have any problems with the board becoming unstable. Of course we have our native uh, native Intel SATA 6. We also have SATA 3 and a GSATA on here. This is a debug LED and the bottom of our board is where we could connect all our, our panel connections. USB to the panel etc. USB 3.0. We have one, two, three PCIe connectors. PCIe Yes, correct. Three PCIe, I'm sorry. One PCI, one, two, three PCIe X1. Here's your capacitors on the side of the board as we come up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the I.O. plate. We have our sound. 
We have our Intel uh, a LAN, I'm sorry, not Intel LAN, but we have LAN. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and these two are actually the ESATAs. Of course, this is supported, it supports Virtue, so you do have your onboard VGA, DVI, and HDMI ports. So if you are using Lucid Virtue, which basically is, is you can put a discrete card on there, plug, plug your monitor into your discrete card, plug your monitor into one of the one of the onboard ports with Sandy Bridge and Ivy Bridge, it does have onboard video. So you could actually go ahead and take advantage of when you're gaming and you need the power, it'll switch over to your discrete video card when you're at idle or at a state where you don't need a lot of graphics it will switch over to the onboard graphics which will save you a little bit of power in the long run over here we have two more USB 3.0's and we have our P PS2 connection if we look at the back of the board we have our plate for our socket inside the box we do have some nice connectors, connectors. We have a SATA 2 and SATA 3 connector. Of course, this is our I.O. port, our I.O. plate. SLI bridge. We have a guidebook. And of course, our user's manual. And of course, the driver CD. Now you are going to get some benefits out of this board over the Z68. They made some refinements, of course, with the new 7 series chipset. There are refinements with that. We have the Virtue. We have a couple extra things, uh, the MSATA capability. So you should see improved performance with, if you're still using a Sandy Bridge processor, you might want to think about it for some a little bit of improved performance. Other than that, this does support the 22 nanometer processors, which is going to be the next generation Intel processors. So that's been a quick look at the Gigabyte GA Z77X UD3H motherboard. Stay tuned because I'm going to show you some Sandy Bridge benchmarks at the end here. See you the next time. Stay thirsty, my friends. Bye-bye.